Welcome back, everybody, to Tuesday Night Pro Scrims Curse. They still lead over Complexity, and they are one map away from closing this one out. But Complexity, another great performance from them on Capture Flag Standoff. They won that one 3-0. to zero. And if you missed any match tonight, you want to head over to YouTube.com slash official MLG COD. You can see all the VODs there, as well as if you missed any of the 5000 series the videos, they're up there. Yeah, and I mean, the 5000 series, we had some amazing matches on stream, so you definitely want to check those out. And, you know, even tonight, we've had some amazing games with Clutch plays all on board. All right, so... We were calling Complex for the MVP it's so far in the night Pro Scheme, so I think it's only fair we start on with him, but... But we're going to restart. Uh, yeah, it looks like some from Complex may be a wrong a class side. I think Krim definitely wants to take off that RCXD RC car, car he was yeah. using, Not too put on a on War Machine, yeah. or if he wants to go into Terminator road mode, bring out the Death Machine. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Death Machine we don't see too often on... Uh, but what we do, it's from Hard Krim point. 6. <laughs> yeah, what we do, we see it from Krim, and you know, this map's probably... If you were to use it on one map, I would say either this map or... Yemen are probably the two maps you'd mm. want it on. I mean, I think you can do some damage with it in Kitchen, watching the front and the back. Can you do more damage with a War Machine or a Death Machine in Kitchen? I think right now you're seeing tons of people switch over to Flag Jacket, so I'm, it's kind of... I mean, the War Machine's still extremely effective with Flag Jacket, mm -hmm. but you go through it so quickly that I think Death Machine, it, it's pretty effective. Pretty, I mean... You saw some people try to test it out at the beginning of the game, then they're like, wow... This thing, it's not as great as I thought it would yeah. be. So you switch over to the War Machine, which, of course, the splash damage is really why you yeah, want to use that one. Yeah, the huge, yeah. But other than that, you see sentry guns a lot. I mean, remember when we were playing with the Hunter Killer? Yeah, the Hunter Killer was, that was fun to play with. Even, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. Even when uh, you, you were allowed to play with uh, Hardline, and then you would get, mm -hmm. like, two kills in the hill and get an orbital view set, I thought that was awesome, capture too. The objectives. But let's start out with Complex here. Why do you, why have we been naming him the MVP of the night? No, he's just been coming up clutch all all on all game modes to be honest. You know, he went big on uh, the hard point on slums and on both search and destroys. I mean he, he clutched probably the two or three most important rounds of the whole game. And I mean if he hasn't clutched those rounds, I mean this this could very well be the final map in Complexity's favor. Alright, but off the start, it was Ace with the hand, hot hand for Complexity, but Clayster, you don't see this guy in the hard point often, but when he gets in there, it's because all of his teammates are dead, so his job is to stay alive, but not only that, he was racking up a ton of time on the hard point, and because of that, he just earned his health for a minute. Yeah, you know, he's and actually gonna strike. end his lightning strike, too. And the stealth chopper. Stealth chopper, too. I mean, Clayster's just going in right now, Revan. We're gonna see when he decides to call this in. I mean, he could call it in very early in the game just to kind of play that mind game with his opponent say, like, you know what? I got a Cell Chopper. We haven't even played a minute into the game. Yeah, I think I, I think he'll probably save it. I mean, he they know he's to know. They got to know he has streaks. But uh, I think the perfect spots to use this Cell Chopper are either in basketball, if you get a pretty late rotation, or even in the middle hill. And it looks like he's going to overlap his streaks. Yeah, he's got to call in the Hellstrom Missile or the Lightning Strike right now. I mean, it's looking like he will actually, never mind, he doesn't double up. So thankfully he didn't use them. But now you got TP inside the Hardpoint for Complexity. He's dead, but here comes Crimbot. Those by one turning around. It's going to be Blind Fire taking him out over near the pool side. But I can't switch off a Clayster. Yeah, you know, this is the usually the Complexity you see on Hardpoint. It was pretty odd to see them lose two Hardpoints in a row. And right now, I mean, they're just... They're just slaying right now. I mean, they can't. They can't get lazy. You can't just start doing late rotations because then Curse is going to creep back in the game. So it's going to be Teep just fighting for the rest of the time on the hard point. It looks like his teammate Clayster will clean up the kill, but he's going to be the last one to rotate. And you know what? I've been seeing the anchor player rotate later and later. You know, you give it to the submachine guns, they get there a bit quicker, especially if they're using extreme conditioning for the rotation. So the anchor player, he's going to be the slowest guy there. But as your submachine guns push through. He'll pick up the slack, you know, as you leave the anchor spot, of course, Clayton will take over there. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. We're definitely seeing the anchors push a little later, and we're actually seeing more subs rotate towards the anchor positions and playing those at the start. And I, I believe that's something we saw out of... Uh, Impact. Impact, we saw that. And I believe also uh, Dito and uh, Fizzer at Atlanta were actually running four subs on some maps on Hardpoint and just putting tons of pressure on the anchor position. And I think since then, we've been seeing more subs push the anchor spot. All right, so our sub machine guns out there. Help out your anchor player take control of the spawns. It's a team game in the end. If you got, you know, three players pushing the anchor spot, you know, you're just increasing your chances so much by at least trying to get the spawns there. Yeah, I agree. And uh, right now, I think we're seeing a smart play to just give up on this garage. You don't want to feed them streaks because Streaks will make the game about even. I mean, you're gonna be down. You're gonna be up only a few seconds, but 
You know, if you can hold this basketball to start, you can get a solid 20, 30 seconds and make it all back. Is this one Clayster is going to call on the stealth chopper off the basketball uh, hard point? You know, the game's actually pretty close right now, so I think you're going to see him save his streaks later into the game when, you know, the team really needs them. Okay, so he's going to control the full side of the map as he picks up the call in the complex. Ax got taken out inside the hard point, so it's going to be blind fire now as I switch over to him. Uh, it looks like he might be working towards some streaks, but he's EMP, so I just want to wait. Yeah, he was around halfway there. Miracle's down to four kills, doing one more kill. And he will earn himself the house He's going to run out there with the knife. Oh, his teammates there to help him out. He's only got four bolts left. Aix does pick up that kill, and a big kill with that one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a huge kill, you know. To get, to let Miracle get streaks, I mean, the game is super close, but to let him get streaks, that just would make it even closer and just kind of counteract Placer's streaks. Yeah, especially since the Hellstorm Missile, that's probably the best thing to use when you're going to try to take out that Cell Trapper when he eventually calls that in. But he's so fully streaked out, moving into the square hard point, and I'm still waiting for him to call this puppy in. Yeah, you know, I, I think we're going to wait and probably see it on the second rotation of hard points because right now they have control of the square. You don't really have anybody from Curse rotating here early, which is kind of surprising. And I mean, uh, you know what, though? Curse broke right through it. So it's going to be TP regains control of the hardpoint. Looks like he's going to do some juggling action, but Twiz, he's all over it. Picks up that kill inside the hardpoint. It's going to be complex following this one up for Curse Gaming. Jumping in, but if there's one team that does a great job of controlling this hardpoint, it's complexity. They're just going to leave one submachine gun player. Mainly, it's going to be TP. Just hang out in the square. Let his teammates roam around and pick up the kills there. And that's really the standard set we've been seeing on this hard point as the game has progressed. Yeah, you know, we, we we don't see a ton of teams really play for too much time on this middle hill, but as the games progress, I think we're seeing more and more of it because the middle hill, you can pick up tons of time, and you can also actually manipulate the spawns in your favor going towards the next hill. And, you know, this is a very close game. Only now 13 points separating both these teams heading into the middle square hard point. And Clayster, we've been saying it since the first hard point, he's got a self chopper. Yeah, and we're, we're, he's going to wait because, you know, hard right now they, he probably knows that there's no really streaks from Curse coming in. So you don't have to worry about getting streak countered. And they have control over the hill and the spawn, so there's really no reason to use it right now. Okay, so Complexity hanging on inside the hard point, and they're just pushing out of out to the spawn points and taking curse off spawn. So lots of kills coming in favor of Complex as you saw in the kill feed there. Now it's going to be Crim6. He's live in the hard point. As he gets taken out, we're going to look at his scoreboard once again. It's going to be Clayster leading Complex. He's 22 and 14. And not only that, he's got the most defense out of all the players on his team. Yeah, you know, that that's just ridiculous from Clayster. And, but it also shows that the other ARs for Complexity are picking up the job anchoring. You know, they're still getting mm -hmm. good spawns. So if Clayster's playing more for the hill there, is the other people picking up his work. Now it's about the rotation to the kitchen. Hardpoint Ace gets taken out, but I don't see anybody from Complexity making their way over towards that side of the map yet. I mean, I'm going to say it's a bit of, of a late rotation from Complexity right here. Yeah, it's an extremely late rotation from Complexity, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if this is when Clayster is going to use the streaks to break it and force them out. I mean, the Kitchen Hardpoint, I don't think they're that useful. Maybe if you want to stack the anchor, but Aix, he's going to lead the charge, takes out all the players inside the Hardpoint, so they take control back just like that. So no streaks needed from Clayster. Yeah, and I mean, it's just pretty much Aix, and I, I believe I was TP behind him, you know, breaking the hill. And, you know, Aix has some of the fastest reaction time I've ever seen on any game on the circuit. Yeah, I mean, whenever something happens, Ace is on top of it, especially when it comes to looking at the minimap. I mean, whenever I'm watching a player stream, I don't really care about the gameplay. I'm really looking at their eyes and how fast are they looking at the minimap. Ace, he's one of the fastest guys at getting that information and reacting on it. Yeah, you know, he's an extremely smart player. He pretty, he knows, he pretty much makes the right play most of the time. And, you know, if you can keep making consistently the right plays over and over again, your team's going to win. And Ace, he's one of those weird guys out there. He plays on inverted. Inverted. He's a, he's actually he says he's a, he's a good American because he plays inverted. Because you know, started back in Golden Eye playing on that Nintendo 64 controller and inverted. I don't I don't know how he does it. I can't do I it. I think it's all backwards. I played yeah. with a few teammates who have played inverted, and I don't understand it. But in the meantime, Clayster, he's yet to use any of his score streaks, and now we're getting to the last couple of hard points here. It's going to be cursed. They will break into the garage hard point, take control, and this might be a bit scary for Complexity because this is the hard point where we see teams start to mount a comeback, and Complex is dangerously close to those score streaks. Yeah, you know, Complex is extremely close to streaks, and this is why you save your streaks towards the end of the round because with games this close and with teams as good as Curse, I mean, you never know. They can make a comeback. And, you know, right now going into this basketball, Complexity is going to have to hold at the beginning. And 
to, if they had streaks cursed right now, it would be extremely advised, difficult. He used it. Yeah. He's going to call in the stealth chopper off the rotation towards the basketball hard point. If Complex gets taken out here, this, this is going to be a great position for Complexity. There you go. He gets huh. taken out by Chris. Twiz does Everybody have the Hellstorm missile, so he... Oh, he missed! He missed, he missed it! The oh, chopper. no. That's... Oh, man. That is... Uh, that is... Uh, a pretty big Puck fail it, right there. If you're there. looking for some top five uh, fail fails plays, week, I got that you a number one right, right there. there. You know, hey, that's, that's that's not just good. unfortunate. That's right just there. not good. Yeah, you know, I like to say that's unfortunate, but that's just that's just not good right there. So it looks like we are getting some disc lag for the moment, but the salt chopper is eventually dealt with, and Cleese are also used the lightning strike as complexity. They have around a 20-point lead here, but it's all going to come down to the final hard point. They currently control the basketball, but Twiz does break in, finds one kill, but here comes Clayster. He picks up that one, still has a Hellstorm as well to call in, and it looks like he has a shot at doubling up here, but nobody from Curse is going to push for the last 10 seconds. It all comes down to a final square hard point, as we usually see on Rage. Yeah, and I mean, you know, that's just... I, that, I believe Complexity got a full 60 off that. Uh, probably, if not a full 60 with Contest, probably 50, 50 seconds. Yeah. And, you know, that, that's the difference between uh, winning and losing rounds. But Curse still has a chance. They have this middle heart. Nah, that's nah, over that's right it. there. Right there with that Contest. Mm -hmm. It's all over Complexity. They're going to stay alive for at least another map as Clayster finally calls in that Hellstrom missile. But Complexity, they will win Raid Hardpoint. I think they might even get to 250 here. But yeah. let's take a look at the scoreboard. Clayster, 23 and 22. But he's still leading the team in defense. I mean, he's tied with Aches. And that's the sign of a, a good anchor right there, as well as teamwork for the anchor position. Yeah, I mean, that all is really teamwork and communication, because if he's going to rotate into the hill, other people need to be there to pick up the anchor position so the spawns don't mess up. But, you know, that's also a perfect example of why you want to save your score streaks when your team absolutely needs them. We see a lot of teams, they'll use their streaks extremely early, or they'll get really excited when they get them and just call them in. And that's a reason why you kind of hold on to them. Smart plays coming out of Placer as not only can he do work getting the spawns for his team, but he can make his way inside the hardpoint and do some objective work when it calls for it. So Complexity, they're going to take Raid Hardpoint 249 to 204. And now it's a 4 to 3 map count, still in favor of Curse, but Complexity, they're starting to crawl back into this one. Yeah, you know, starting to make a comeback, but we're, they're going to have to win a search and destroy. You're not going to win series. In anywhere, land, online, any type of tournaments, you can't win Search and Destroy gameplays. And the next map, it's going to be Express Search and Destroy. We're going to see if Complexity can hang on for yet another map. We're heading to a quick break, but when we come back, it's going to be map number eight in tonight's program.